Hello, everybody. Good morning, Rose here. Today I'm reacting to Foodie Beauty's live stream that she did last night called B Stream. So this live stream is after her hot date. And so she's coming home and talking to everybody. She, I watched this live stream and she was going on and on about FFG yet again. And uh, she got some flack in the chat, of course, because she revealed in the last live stream that the person that she's seeing is a married man with kids. And some people weren't happy about that and they had their opinions. So I wanted to sit in and give my thoughts, feelings and opinions. So let me just go ahead and share the screen so you guys can see what we're looking at. So there's Fody, and this stream went on for over two hours. I'm not gonna react to all of it, just a part of this. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Don't tell me, how am I supposed to know? I don't know. If I know they're married, yes, absolutely, I fucking. And tonight, if I had known before, like if he was like, no, I wouldn't have. He told me he was single. You know, Chantal, I reacted to the stream where you were coming back from seeing the guy. I, you didn't look horrified to me that he was married. As a matter of fact, you looked delighted. You were giggly. You looked very proud of yourself. You looked very smug. You didn't have the demeanor of a woman who had relations with a man and found out he was married and was disgusted by it. You had just the opposite demeanor. You look like someone that you are proud of yourself that you slept with another woman's man. Maybe you're proud of yourself because in your head, you're thinking to yourself, oh, this guy's married. He prefers me over her. Maybe that's the thinking. Just keep in mind that you're eating food off of somebody else's plate. You're just a side piece, a booty call, a quick bang, a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And with your attitude, seeing as you really don't date people, you just hook up with people, that's how it'll always be with you. You'll never be in a relationship because you wanna to get to the good stuff right away, right? Your idea is if I'm gonna go on a date, I better get something physical out of it or it's not worth doing. Well, if you don't have patience and you don't get to know people, you wanna to get to the good stuff, this is what you get. You know, getting treated like a human flashlight. Jeez, Lynn Maxwell. Isn't she in prison? Yep. Address matter being sent to Guantanamo Bay. Cut it out. I can't remember. They were nice. My hair's growing back already, I know. You know what? I'm going to let it just grow out. I think that's probably the best thing. I mean, I do have some hair at least. It's not like super sparse like I thought it was. I will need some hair fibers and hormone treatment though. You've never had an almond? I have no idea if I've ever had an almond or not. <laughs> like, I genuinely don't know. Hey, Andre Cooks. I've had other nuts. Love pistachios. Dating does suck. Peanuts are pretty okay. Pretty sure I've had walnuts. Which are okay. I honestly have no idea if I've had an omelet or not, though. You know, I'm not quite sure why Pete wanders into her live streams and talks from behind, like out of the camera range. If he wants to come on camera and talk with Foodie, why not just pull up a chair and make himself known? I don't get that. Like if you're going to be part of somebody's stream, why not be part of their stream? Why not just sit down and talk right beside them? That's interesting. It's one of those things where it's like, have I? Have I not? What are back shots? Ask Pete about back shots. 
You fucking perverts. You goddamn perverts. Is that cool, titties? Diego. Diego. In my chat, ghoul titties uh, talks a lot about back shots. Oh, ghoul titties. Um, no, Tony's not married. Okay, here's the thing with Tony, and I'm going to totally fucking out him tonight. Listen to this, Aisha. Stop! Okay, listen. <laughs> so, remember the other day I had a craving for Tony? So I messaged Tony and I said, I'm... What did I say? Here we go. I have. I can just read you what I said. Well, ah, fuck, I delete. Okay, so then I wrote, like, you know... And I didn't, and, and um, I don't remember how it happened. What did I say? So you're trying to make up more lies as you go? Because the story that you gave us in regards to your hookup, Chantal, was that you said your words, that you were in bed and you woke up and your to-do list was right beside you when you had every intention of doing stuff on your to-do list. But your WhatsApp was blowing up. So you get a message from a guy saying, hey, do you want to go out? You want to go to a park? So you went to the hotel and had your moment with this person. Now you're saying it was you messaging him. So which version of the story is true, if any version is true? We were talking and then we were making like tentative plans. And then I'm like, what are you doing this weekend? And he's like, Saturday, I have to see my sister. I'm available on Friday or on Sunday. And because yesterday, you know how I felt like doing fuck all. So I would just said, well, so then how about Sunday? I'll see you Sunday. And then I left my last message to him was, j'ai envie de toi, meaning like I'm, I'm in the mood for you. Like I crave you. So then you would expect him to like confirm or like you know at least say something he does i don't hear from him until today that was friday i messaged him so i don't hear back from him till today at 6 30 p.m when i'm with this other guy oh so i'm getting confused there's just too many people that she talks about i can't keep them separated can you i get confused too many names. There's Mr. Dubai. There's Mr. Coffee. There's Mr. Motorcycle Guy. There's Tony one and two. So are these two different people or the same person? And he's like, mm, me too. So get in your car. He like sends it like bullet point. Like, mm, me too. Get in your car. Pull out, pull away and come see me right now. Like probably trying to be sexy kind of thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, Obviously not answering. That's <laughs> Jam teach you French. Busy with his sister. I know, right? Whoa, well, see, I crave you. So then, so then, um, so then, <laughs> stop it, legal counsel. I feel really bad. Yeah, you look like you feel really bad. <laughs> and Foodie, I'm looking at your face. I don't see an ounce of remorse or regret on your face. You look very smug right now, like you just did something. Yeah, you did something, something bad. But you like doing bad things. Those make you happy. Sleeping with a married man is not a good thing. It, it just isn't. If this story is real he did something bad and you did something bad him especially because he's the married person not you but you found out he was married and you're completely okay with it you're actually trying to justify it so then he was like oh so then i 
then he messaged me like I didn't answer him obviously because I was already busy. So he answered, he wrote so, and then I didn't answer, and then he wrote, and you don't answer as usual. What? How do I not answer as usual when you didn't answer me on Friday? So no, you don't answer me as usual either. So I don't like these fucking games, but I do. I have a crush on Tony, but I don't like the games. So that's the only problem. Those are the red flags that get on my nerves. I know. Come dabby <laughs> That's what he said. Come dabby <laughs> It's true. So Sad Big Bird says, she slept with a married man today, but it's okay because the wife is in another country. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. But that's Chantal justifying what she did as being okay. No, I had sex four times with a married man today. In your head. <laughs> that's the only way it could happen four times is in your head. Because it's not going to happen outside your head. Foodie. Have you forgotten about all the live streams you've done where just walking up a set of stairs makes you winded so how in the world are you having sex four times with a guy how is that possible you're the starfish queen how are you having mad passionate sex with a guy four times if you're starfishing <laughs> and then as i was getting and then as I, we were getting ready he's like I, again and I went, no, 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 no. And when I got to go home, <laughs> holy shit. He's lying right okay. now. That didn't happen. My food is on the way. And Pete's offered to go get it for me. So she ate dinner with this guy during the date, and she's eating again. How are you losing weight doing that, Foodie? You talk about you're losing weight. I would like to know your secret. How are you able to eat twice, you know, for one meal, eating twice and still losing weight? I think a lot of people be interested in your secret. How do you do it? Because he's a nice guy. Offer. Air quotes. <laughs> Pete's. Boo her for being a hoe. Boo. Oh. <laughs> Receipts or it didn't happen. What? I could show your receipts. <sighs> Delicious Steakhouse closes promptly at 8 p.m. Flop era. That's why I didn't order from Delicious Steakhouse. They know all the restaurants around here. This is why. This Which is my fault because I fucking like it. We take it that we get takeout way too much. Of course we do. No pea slut shaming. Plain cheeseburgers. And what I'm trying to do without just ripping it, but fine. Go ahead and rip it relationship with Uber Eats. <laughs> no. I don't think they're in a happy marriage or something. Yeah, but you don't know that. If you're meeting up with a guy, this is not an imaginary guy that is just a friend of somebody and they just showed up in a room just to give you some footage and then bolted. This is an actual guy and you're saying, oh, they're not in a happy marriage. Of course, Anybody who's cheating is going to say that. Someone who is not honest, someone who's in a relationship, they're going to spin a story to make themselves look like the better person. Oh, I'm not in a happy marriage. It's a very unhappy marriage. It's a very unhappy relationship. We don't hardly talk to each other, blah, blah, blah. They're going to say that. 
they're going to say that so that you don't think that they're less of a person. But if they're cheating, that tells you everything you need to know. Because if they were a straight up honest person, they would do the right thing and break things off of the other person before they go out and they spread their legs or they lay down with another person. Because that's the honest thing to do. If you're in a relationship with someone and it's not working, do the right thing, end it before you start something up with somebody else. It's not fair to be in a relationship with somebody and they're committed to you and they stay committed, they're being faithful, they're being monogamous. And if you're out there having your cake and eat it too, that is not fair. He's not going to see her for like three fucking years. So maybe he has to move on. Well, he needs to break it off with her before he starts something with someone like yourself. That way she can move on with her life and find another partner that actually does care for her. Because it doesn't sound like this guy does care. You know, he came here seeking asylum, so he had to leave his family, and he needs some comfort while he's here. It's true. He needs some help. <clears throat> he's not in a happy marriage if he's ticking down Canadian Uncle Fester. <laughs> They all cheat when they work out of town bees. <laughs> That's horrible. I'm glad I'm not married, seeing as how half of them fucking cheat on their wives. Jesus Christ. No thanks. Voodoo probably thought the same with green bean. Yeah, thanks, Tien. Hugbox is not hug boxy. Well, that's all right. I don't deserve it. How can you put this online? I don't know. What? No, I don't like cheaters either. I honestly, it came out that while we were at the hotel, Rhonda, that he was like married. I was like, what the fuck? But there's a huge language barrier, too. Like, he doesn't speak any English at all. So, for thank you. <laughs> and you say me. That's about all he knows. <laughs> he reminded me a lot of Maiten, actually. <clears throat> I did. You know what? I'm seeing a lot of people in her chat saying, you deserve this glow up. So how does cheating work into her glow up? I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, her running around with married men that have a family, how that is part of a glow up. I would say that's a glow down, don't you guys think? You know, that's a downgrade. You're not a single woman messing around with single men you are a single woman messing around with married men where you should not be how is that a glow up i did cheat before but i'm not a cheater because i wouldn't cheat anymore and i didn't cheat I mean oh yes you did you cheated on bb you cheated on pete you are a serial cheater you are Maybe that's why you're okay with the guy cheating on his wife because you cheated on the men you were with I made that resolution and i never did after that. Mm -hmm. Hi, Bree. What? Karma. Well, yeah, I know. I mean. This comment. Flop Era says you are still healing from the relationship with Meaton. What relationship? They never had. <laughs> what relationship did she have with Meaton? She put up one post saying we're in a relationship and the next day it was done. How is that a relationship? Yeah, I'll probably get bad karma for that. He lasted as long as Maiton too. 
You are still healing from late mating. Isn't it usually the mothers and children that would get asylum? Tony left them behind by getting a lifeboat on the Titanic. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's not her problem if they're married. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, if he was like, I'm married and have kids and was like very straightforward, I need to be more careful about it. He wants to still see me. So I don't know. I don't know what he's planning. Oversharing so the internet doesn't drag you. Norma Jean, but I don't like I don't care if the internet drags me. I just don't want them to steal my stuff and ruin my stuff. But all I'll have to do, like I just don't want them to come for me in real life. Drag me all you want online. I don't really give a shit. And don't fuck with my money. Other than that, I don't care. Like, you know, I should be able to tell I'm sleep. It's a human activity. You know what I mean, Norma Jean? Like, I should be able to come online and be like, I slept with somebody. Yes. You know, people who subscribe to Chantal Sarol know what kind of fucking mess I am. Why would you expect, why would anyone expect anything different? I just want to be able to just fucking talk about whatever I want to. I don't want to have to be fake and careful about what I say. You know, I don't know. I mean, I am trying to be careful about what I say. And so you don't want to be fake and careful about what you say. But yet 99.9% .9 of the stuff that comes out of your mouth is lies. Just straight up lies. So if you're telling pretty much nothing but lies, how are you not being fake? Because if you were truthful about yourself, that'd be one thing. You know, just coming online and saying the truth, but you lie all the time. So when you're a liar and when you tell lies, you're being fake because you're not offering up the truth. You're offering up something that is not the truth. And when you come online and you're using mega filters, there's you being fake about yourself. I mean, I will acknowledge that there are people on Instagram and maybe Snapchat or something. It's normal to add some fun filters to your picture or to touch it up, but you use filters to the max. So you lie to people about your weight. You're lying about your appearance because you're putting pictures out there of what you look like, but not quite what you look like. It's very, very different. You lie about what you do. How are you not being fake? This whole persona that you've got on YouTube, that's fake too. Because anybody that goes back to your content about three or four years ago, maybe even five, you were a different person. You tailored this whole image of yourself to make money. So you're being fake all the way around, Fody. To some degree, but I don't find what I say to be like, why? You know what I mean? I'm here for the full Chantel. You guys don't, the thing is, is like the minute I start being fake, fake be on my voice. I don't like when you're fake. So why the fuck? Like what? You know, like which one do you want me to be? I'm just being what I'm being at this point. I turned down the pick on the nightstand. Who? What? Let her be a home record, dude. <laughs> I certainly not. <laughs> hey, crisscross. <coughs> Phil Glitter, Kidney J, and two other haters. We're all dating Monty at the same time, unaware of each other. Why is he still focusing on me? We want you to be the best version of yourself. Uh, yeah, well, I understand that. I want you to, I think. That's not, it's not fun being the best version of yourself. It sucks. To talk about the fashion show before it happened, you should have done a private members only stream. I don't think I should have talked about it. I think that was my mistake for sure. But again, I honestly guess I was too gold. I should have like, I didn't think that she would fucking show up. Never in a million years would she she think of doing that. And then I, when she did show up, I was like, okay, she was very she was very 
nice and like yeah you know like and then it was just a total fucking asshole and, and had to ruin everything so <clears throat> whatever What did he do to her now? He just was like two timing them all. Why are they dating Monty? What the fuck are they thinking? <laughs> I deserve better than a married man. Thank you. I about shit when I saw that pic of you guys together. You should snipe her in real life at the Adidas store in Montreal. She doesn't shop at the Adidas store. I thought she was part of the fashion show. I knew she was going on Twitter. She was like... <clears throat> the burrito. Okay, let's fucking eat. About an event you were not even part of. You were not invited to. Like, why? Do you know what I mean? Like, does no one think that's wrong or what? So let's talk about the fashion show and the designer for a minute. So I've been trying to keep on top of that and try to follow up with it. Chantal is on her channel saying that the fashion designer asked her to take the video down or private it. And all mentions of the fashion show were removed from the designer's Instagram. I think the designer did that because... There was a lot of backlash afterwards. A lot of nasty comments left on the designer's page uh, about Chantal, the people saying, why did you allow her to be in your fashion show? And did you know about this, that, and the other thing? So the designer, because she has a brand, because she has a company, she's doing damage control right now. And she's trying to distance herself away from Chantal because she's got a company and she's got a brand and if you're someone, you've got a company or a brand, you don't want things damaging your brand or your reputation. So I understand where the designer is coming from, although it would have been smart to vet all of her models. That way there would not be any backlash. I mean, Chantal got on camera and said that she told the designer about the YouTube thing and the designer didn't care. But maybe the designer did not anticipate all of the negativity that would come because of Chantal. And, and she found out after. So now she's doing damage control. I've also heard that this designer allegedly got upset because her image was shown in a video or videos. And if you're a YouTuber, you can go into YouTube editor and edit stuff out of a video even after it's posted. So that would be an easy fix. If she was concerned about herself being shown in the videos, that could be easily taken care of. But I think that it's just the designer, maybe Chantal told her that she was a big YouTuber. And maybe the designer anticipated because of that, there'd be more people in the audience than the, there actually were. And not only did she invite Chantal and there was nobody in the audience, but then all this backlash afterwards and she's just doing damage control. And Chantal is lashing out at FFG saying, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. No, Chantal, before the show even happened, you knew of your bad reputation and you know how much people don't like you. And if they find out anybody you're working with, anybody you're talking to, they're going to let that person know things about you that maybe you haven't told them. So you kept it quiet for a while and then word got out. But rather than do the courteous thing and think to yourself, you know, this person, does, this person is a designer and they built a company and a brand. And if I'm part of the show, they're going to get a bunch of crap. So maybe I should do the decent thing for their sake and back out. You didn't back out. You went to the show because you wanted your five minutes up on the catwalk. You got it. 
and you knew what was going to happen after it was over. You knew the designer would get contacted. You knew the negativity and you just didn't care because you wanted what you wanted, even if it would be at the expense of other people. I'll never get how grown adults think that's okay. Thank you, Milky. But whatever. I literally, he literally said hi in the hotel. You could analyze his voice. It's not matter. I even put the camera around, and in the mirror, you can see him sitting there. It's not matter. If you want my opinion, I think the whole hotel visit was a distraction from the fact that she's actually seeing Natter behind the scenes. She's trying to deflect away from the fact that she is seeing and talking to Natter. Oh, here, let me get into a hotel room or a motel room with a guy, show a different guy, and everybody's going to think, that I'm not seeing Natter much because my focus is somewhere else. You know, it's smoke and mirrors. How do we know Natter wasn't outside the room smoking a cigarette, waiting for Chantal to be done so they can go and do something? How do we know that? Natter's not been online for two weeks. He's not been able to film videos. So you had to know he was calling Chantal needing money. And her taking advantage of that situation and seeing him. And that's why she's been giddy all week. Oh my God. Look at this shit. So again, tell me how you're losing weight eating something like that. Oh, oh my God. Completely ruined it. Like, and her fucking stream sniping on Twitch is okay. She needs to grow the fuck up. All her fucking audience needs to grow the fuck up. Get a life. Lucy has room temp IQ. At this point, yeah. I'm going to smash it. It warts all over her face and has a chin this huge and has the nerve to fucking come for anyone at that fucking fashion show. You're ugly on the outside because you're ugly on the inside. Fuck you. Let me try to get past her eating. I hate when she eats. <laughs> Was Vicky with Monty? Are you for sure? Hey, chaperone Sherry. What's going on in this universe? I think I'm the only sane one. And you're all crazy. You know that? You had it wrong. God, you're even freaking me out. Okay, you know what? I know this is a Chantal react, but I'd like to give my thoughts about the whole Monty situation. So I stayed quiet for a long time because I was simply in the process of gathering information, you know, just stepping all the way back to gather all the pieces and the pieces are still coming out. You know, I'm part of the reaction community and I've learned that it's best not to jump in things too early. So I just stepped back to check things out. 
myself and a few other people had that attitude. And the things that have been coming out about the Monty situation, different people involved, it's disturbing. It's very, very disturbing. My heart goes out to anybody in that situation that got hurt, betrayed, lied to. It sucks. Uh, it sucks when you get betrayed, you get hurt, and you get lied to, even more so when it's done on a public forum, when it's outed on a public forum. Because of everything coming out, there's an attitude now of anybody who's been on Monty's panel and everybody's wondering, are, are they for Monty or against Monty? Have they been hurt by Monty? Have they been lied to by Monty? And those that aren't speaking up fast enough, there's an assumption that those who are staying quiet, you know, they're on the side of Monty. I went on Erie Pepperoni's uh, panel and I said what I said about the situation, but I guess because I didn't do it here, maybe everybody's wondering. I'm disappointed with it. And it's, I get, like I said, it's disturbing. It's disturbing as hell. And more stuff is coming out and it's turned girl world upside down. And, and it, it's just a lot. It's a lot. I'm here on my channel and all I want to do is be on my channel and make my content about Chantal, do my ambiance videos, do my gaming videos. And even now, more stuff is still coming out about that situation. It's, it's sad that it's turned girl world completely upside down. So my heart goes out to anybody involved in that that's been hurt, lied to, betrayed. It sucks. It absolutely sucks. Uh, and for those that are viewers, they're not directly involved, that you guys are witnessing this, that you're hearing about it. Uh, you're, I'm sure it's upsetting for you too. So there's that. You know, I, I watched the video from Buddha, from Kimmy J, everybody, and it, it just makes you just shake your head. It does. You're like, what? What is going on here? This is too much, but that's where I stand with it all. Just disappointed, uh, shocked. My heart goes out to those ladies that got lied to and betrayed. It, it's, it's really not fair, but let's keep moving. No! Okay, we should we watch it? Is it about what's it about? I don't even you know, half the time I wouldn't even pay attention to what I don't pay attention to you guys fighting with each other. Yeah, I told her she could block certain people if she wanted to. She said she was being doxxed and her family and everything and shit like that. So, what? What's it called? I don't have my keyboard. So, yeah, there is a person who is a mod for Chantal, Vicky. She made her own video about the mod situation and with Chantal. I don't have it on me right now, but I did see it. So she was exposing just how bad the mod situation was and how abusive some of the mods are. Hi, Amelia. May we not watch it? <laughs> I don't really feel like it, but you guys want to. Oh no, shit. I can't. Hold on. 
Thanks, Sofa. Yeah, I'm kind of confused about this Vicky person. So watching Chantal's chat, a lot of people were upset about Vicky for one reason or another. A lot of people didn't like Vicky. So Rats in the chat is saying Ariel didn't dox anybody, but Vicky's video doxes people. So I'm kind of confused about who's in the wrong here. Oh no, my volume's not working. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to have more nightmares of people coming to get me now. You know how many nightmares I have of people coming to get me at my Burger King in the desert now? Used to be a fucking positive, peaceful experience. Your taste in humans is obviously shit. Can we all just make up and get along? Everybody. Why? Where's Lambork? She should. But, or I don't know. I don't know what to think. Fuck. The video was an explanation of why she left and what she felt was going on. Yeah, she has a right to give her side of the story. Personally, the fucking chat, should, it's not that serious. Block each other if you don't like each other. But it is hard because it is a social setting. So if you're all blocked each other, it doesn't make it as fun. But I don't know. You know what, Chantal? That's a cop out. That That is a serious cop out. Uh, co excuse me. Sorry. That is a cop out right there. So you don't even have open chat. You have VIB chat, which means there's not that many people in there. I can mod a chat with a lot of people. Why can't you? I can sit there and react or do a live stream. And if somebody's acting up, I can bring the control back around. You know, this is your chat. And you're doing a chat. And you can see the comments being left. You don't have the power to speak up and tell someone who's acting up to knock it off. You can sit there and you, you, we've seen you use the block button. You can't take control of your own chat. I think you can. You just don't want to. You're too lazy. So you let everything just go amok. How is it that other people who do chats that are two to three times what you do, they can moderate and control their chat just fine, but you with a much smaller chat, you can't do that. <clears throat> Sorry, miss. she blocked me. Oh, sh I know. I wish I had a can opener up here. I also will not make fun of the books I gave away or whatever. Brittany, you're just seeing, finally seeing that she's just a really hateful piece of crap. That's all she is. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Just we need to just let it be. You said when people who complained, he dismissed it and he knew what he was going. I don't think he imagined that this would happen. He was also a little worried, though. Like, he wanted me to keep it on the down low, like, as much as possible. Because. Because. In case he's like, your haters are weird. Like, are they going to show up and start yelling or something? And I was like, no, nah, they're not going to show up. They're not going to do anything. <sighs> yeah legal counsel why should I have to fucking concern myself with this petty shit fuck that no thanks 
affecting what you post on YouTube, not sure about your events. You could tell, yeah. More talk about FFT. Blame for it. It's not going to happen anymore. So, nope. But I will be more careful in the future. Absolutely. To I have to just be careful, more careful, I guess, about this shit. Like, you know. The thing is, she won't be more careful. Chantal's always looking for things and people that can stroke her huge ego. To feel more self-important. I don't know if she's going to do any more fashion shows after this. Any more events with companies or products. But even before the fashion show, she should have known better. Anything and anyone that Chantal gets involved with, that person is going to get contacted. That's true of anybody she dates or she sees, any place that she goes, those people get contacted. And then they find out. She's literally there talking to me and her chin is jiggling like this. And I'm like looking at it thinking, this bitch talks about my chin all the time. Like, I'm sorry. I'm just, like, I can't help it. That was running through my fucking brain. Absolutely. A hundred percent. It would for you, too. It would for you, too. They call me Chinny every fucking day. For how many fucking years now? Or how long I've been called Chinny? How long? And in person, face-to-face, -face, smelling like an ashtray and bounce sheet. <laughs> big warts on her face or whatever moles on her face and you're making fun of me for years now i'm done i'm fucking done fucking disrespectful and then if she's gonna be like yeah i disrespect you for what what did, can you at, at tell me what the fuck i ever did to this bitch what did I do to this bitch? Okay, so Sofa King says FFG didn't even have the decency to wait until Chantal posted her vlog. As I understand it, Frenchie gave Chantal plenty of time to post her vlog. She didn't post the, her, her video on the same day. She waited until, what was it, noon the next day to do something? Chantal just did the fashion show. And she went home and she ate and she got high and she went to sleep. She sat on the footage when she should have posted it immediately. So Frenchie gave her a chance to post the footage first. She chose not to. She sat on it. So Frenchie said, okay, I guess I'll post mine first. And Chantal got angry at that. The fact that Frenchie, I guess, posted her stuff first. Well, early bird gets the worm, buddy, uh, foodie. Okay, if you're sitting on footage, you know you should release it. You should release it. Don't go home and get high. And then eat and go to bed. Post everything up and then do all that, then go to sleep. Bitch. One thing. Do you want me to give you a reason to fucking hate me? Talking about next time I'm in your city? <laughs> like what? What? Jesus. To act that way. You have to be careful, though, because people in this chat tell lies about what people say to get you riled up. That's true. No, it's not a good bathtub. It's not big enough here. Soft touch of a woman. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die. Uh, I don't mind. Alexis, go sit in the corner after that comment. That is not hot. What is wrong with me? We hate dentists here. 
It's too tired. I'll take a fat boy any day over a malnourished one. I think Nader is muscular. That means emaciated. <laughs> I think if he, did, he he put on more weight, he would have a good build. YouTube. I never heard that. Extreme hunger. I just, I kind of just lean into it. Like all night I was kind of joking. I was like, we walked by a tr tr truck. I'm like, I want a pogo. <laughs> He's like, what? He didn't even know what a pogo was. <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend wants me to slim my waist, but he loves my curvy ass hips in the line. Really? I could Besides which we don't even know their relationship at all. He didn't like he also made it seem like they were separated or they weren't So there's a person in Chantal's chat, her name was Flora. And she was giving Chantal crap for sleeping with a married man. And Chantal gets mad about that. They never had sex. Because I was like, when I said sex and then wifey's like, no, no, no sex, no sex. So we don't know their fucking arrangement. So don't call me a fucking bitch and come at me sideways. Fuck you. You're a bitch. Get out of here. It does matter. You don't know fuck all. You know what, Chantal? Even if a person is married and they're not having sex with their wife for whatever reason. That's still not a license to go sleep with a married man. Married is married. Married means off limits. No trespassing on the property. You have no right to walk on that grass. Do you hear me? If two people are married, even if they are celibate to each other, that doesn't mean you should step in and sleep with the married party, whoever that is, the wife or the husband. Even if the person isn't married, the guy's in a relationship, got a girlfriend, got a fiance, off limits. Don't touch. Stay away. Not your business. A, a person who's a cheater, they're going to say whatever it is they need to say to you to get what they want from you. So he spun this pity me story about I'm with my wife. We're separated. We're, we're far apart from each other. There's no sex in the marriage. And you believe that? You bought that? Well, I guess it worked. He got what he wanted from you. You don't know shit. Get out of here. <sighs> She's not even coming here for three fucking years. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if he is away from her for 30 years. They're still married. They're still together. He's not divorced. You have no right to go after a married man. I don't care what his reason is for being with you. You should still step off. Just and I'm not just blaming her. The bigger fault is with the married man because he's the one in the relationship. He was the one who was with somebody and decided to step out. I just can't believe <laughs> cheating with someone like Chantal, really. <laughs> but still, the bigger wrong is on him. But there's also wrong with her about knowing that he's married and she's not horrified. You know, she's not disturbed by that. She's not upset. She's giggling. She thinks she's, you know, she did something, something good. It's not good. Never going to be good. Wait till you're cheated on for real. Whatever. Shut up. Fucking hell. See, the thing is, Chantal will never be in a real relationship to be cheated on. She won't even get that far. She got far that far twice. And she was with Pete and then with Bibi. To my knowledge, those are the only relationships she's ever been in long term. And what did she do? She cheated on them. But given her behavior and the way she treats people, she's never going to get that far again. 
having somebody commit themselves to her, turn her into a girlfriend or a wife, she's never going to get that far. She gives all the red flags right away, and guys see her for what she is, and they treat her accordingly. <laughs> She's lying. They looked at picture albums of his family and kids while she blew him. <laughs> so driving to the dinner, I don't know. We were talking like he was trying to talk about different things about like his country and stuff. And then, <laughs> how did he consent with his boner? Um, <laughs> yeah, wig on or off? On. Um, well, he's Kurdish, but I think that's in Turkey. He's from Turkey. Yeah, we're driving to dinner and then fucking, I don't know, and then. He was talking about his family, like who he lives with here and everything like that. And stuff about his country or whatever. Like I was understanding. You know what? I'm sick of her lies because she's sitting here lying right now. Yeah, I, I don't know if this story is real with this guy's married or with just a cover for her and Natter, but just remember Chantal lies. That's all you need to know. Chantal lies. So let's go on to the comments. Panda says, LOL, that basically, the guy basically called her fat, told her to exercise and eat salad. Love that for her. Uh, well, if this occasion happened, he did use her for what he wanted, then he walked away. Uh, Living Reflection says, sleeping with a married man with children and laughing like it's just hilarious. Well, there goes the goodwill that you earned for the fashion show. Well, sleazy is as sleazy does. Uh, Courtney says, you are a wonderful person, Chantal, sleeping with a married man who says his family is overseas. Well, you're just doing the Lord's work now, aren't you? Yeah, I, I guess she feels she's, you know, helping out a married man in his time of need. Uh, Olivia says he's married with kids. A while later, while receiving a backlash, we don't even know if he is married. You just want to hate on me. She is so far gone as a person that her whole demeanor is consumed by lying and manipulation. Well, that's just, that's basically the story of her life. Lying, manipulation, lying some more, scamming people, lying, 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 more manipulation, sneaking off to go see Natter, doing drugs, eating, doing self-harm content on YouTube. That's basically her life anymore. Uh, cool Cat says, watching you in your chat tell Flora off for calling you out for sleeping with a married man. You tried to lie your way out of it now, but you already fully admitted you knew he was married. It was absolutely sad. Own your crap. Your chat is really pathetic as well, backing you up for sleeping with a married man with children. They'll, you know what, they'll say whatever it is they need to say over there to stay in her good graces because they know if they don't they're going to get blocked i don't know why they would be afraid of being blocked by chantal i mean what does her chat offer like what's so valuable about chantal and being part of her chat that it warrants having a fear of being blocked you know being blocked might actually be a blessing mermaid tail says you know what it was to be like to be cheated on Yet here you are doing it, laughing about it like an immature 14 year old bragging about it, truly warped and sick. Well, Chantal gets off on thinking she's a bad girl and doing bad things. She really gets a kick out of it. What she doesn't realize is that, you know, like that 16 year old bad girl mentality, it looks pathetic when you start to reach middle age and she's already there. Uh, Serena says, let's pretend this situation is actually real. Just because the responsibility is on him for being married doesn't mean you're not still a piece of crap for knowing fooling with a married man. Regardless of the situation, but I'm sure whatever you're paying him is funding his family's move there. Yeah, because you know money changed hands. He wasn't doing that for free. 
it wasn't doing that for free. Anybody having relations with Chantal, you deserve hazard pay. You're going to need it for the clinic trip after everything's over. Uh, Kat says, being a sea bucket and paying for it, what a thing to brag about. Well, that's how sad her life is, bragging about all the wrong things with all the wrong people. Happy Face says, she's mad about the guys not really caring about her when her ideal date is in a cheap motel. Until she changes her perception of love, her dates are always going to end up the same. Either that or stop expecting the most from the hookups. They're called hookups for a reason. Yeah, that's something weird about Chantal. She's, I don't know. I, I'm i just going to go out on a limb here. I think that Chantal has a kink for doing dirty things in what she considers to be dirty places. Maybe she's got a kink because she's a person on YouTube and she makes good money. So maybe it's a kink for her that, you know, she's going to roll in the gutter for a little bit and, oh, I'm making ten thousand dollars a month on youtube but i'm gonna be a bad girl and do cheap hookups in really cheap sleazy disgusting motel rooms with cheap guys maybe that's her kink i don't know i'm just saying like why else would she do it <laughs> it's not even a high-end hookup she's not even going to the marriott or the hyatt she's she's picking the, the cheapest sleaziest rooms is is, is that her kink like finding the dirtiest, scuzziest rooms and playing out some kind of cheap girl fantasy? I I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Vix Pick says, sleeping with married men now. WTF are you doing? Uh, I guess living her best miserable life. <laughs> My guess. Let's see. Uh, Electric rodeo says the local bike. Yeah, everybody gets to ride. <laughs> but nobody takes the bike home and puts it in the garage. Isn't that sad? Well, that's what you get for being the bike, Chantal. Letting everybody ride you. Uh, Sarah says, did you get your cat some food too or just yourself? Well, we saw the ride home. She didn't stop anywhere. She did not stop and get food at a convenience store, at a gas station, nowhere. So there's no excuse, Chantal. Even if you come to the camera and say, well, I was coming home late and all the pet stores were closed. Surely there's a gas station or a convenience store open late that you can stop at. And most convenience stores and gas stations I've been to, they have like a little pet food section. You can pick up at least a few cans of food and bring it home with you. You didn't do that. You just went straight home and fed yourself, which is absolutely heartless because BBJ needs soft, wet food, and she's not getting it. Let's see. Uh, number one fan says, and the bar keeps getting lower. Yeah, just when you think it's gone as low as it can get, Chantal finds another level below that. Let's see. Uh, Techie says, Chantal, you know exactly why they told you to remove the video. You just embarrassed to say why. Well, they probably reached out to her and said, hey, you're a train wreck. We didn't know you were a train wreck. Remove the video, please. So, of course, she's going to put her own spin on things to make herself seem the victim because that's just what Chantal does. She's all about victimhood. Uh, Donna says, where's the boss necklace? Probably on the filthy bedroom floor. <laughs> and honestly, she shouldn't be wearing it. She's not a boss bitch. Bella says, liar. Yeah, pretty much. It's, that sums it up, liar. So that's it for the comments. I'm going to end the react here and post it to my channel. I hope everybody has a wonderful day today. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on other stuff that I wanted to do. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video with me. Hope everybody has a great day. And thank you for watching. And please take care of yourself. Bye-bye.